right, we're obviously back in uh, Troutdale. We came back here almost specifically just to get this, some stuff in the mail. We just kind of wanted to share it all with you guys because it's it's all pretty sweet. So obviously, inside of this box, there's a brand new camera. Obviously. Well, the title of the video, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something to do with the new camera. But then we got a bunch of other stuff too that we want to show off. So we'll get to that. First off, oh yeah, this is super cool. This is a book that we got. It's a cookbook from our friends Yogi Triathletes. They're vegan. We're actually featured in High Vibe Pie, I believe. We were pretty stoked on this because every time we have dinner with them, back in the day, mine belong really good. So stay tuned in the next couple episodes for doing one of these recipes by Paula. We'll put a link down below. Next thing, more coffee from Cafe Luso. We're trying to hone in on a blend that we really like. We're kind of hoping to do something with coffee in the future. Teaser. We got like four or five different things. We're trying them all out now that we have our espresso machine and hone in on what we like. And ideally, we'd like to go visit their roastery at some point and really get a little bit more specific. So. This is actually a pretty freaking sweet. It's a phone case that is actually made from recycled ocean plastics by LifeProof. They go and they pick up some plastic that's just floating around in the ocean, which is horrific, and they turn into phone cases. This video is not sponsored by them, but I just like super support what they're doing, and that's freaking awesome. It is sweet. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. Without any further ado, let's get into this. If you guys remember last week, I broke my Sony camera. And I like really needed to get something to replace it. Here we go. This is the new replacement. This is a camera built specifically for vloggers. It's not quite as nice as the camera that I'm filming on right now, but it's super tiny. It'll fit in a jersey pocket, and it's only like $750, and that's so a big selling point for me because when these things break, when you're using them on the bike or you drop them or something, you're not dropping a $5,000 camera. New and improved screen. This is the first time that Sony's ever done a screen that flips out like that. Really? Yeah. I, I don't know. I can talk about it more if you guys want to know more. This is all very much like consumer level. I like to get stuff that's like super functional for the way that we film and it's rough and tumble. Um, but you know, sometimes you want more than just like what a GoPro can do. <coughs> and that's what that's for. Just saying these are lens guards for my 360 cameras. Another way of, another way of carrying a camera. I've been wanting one of these for a super long time. I was unaware of this. Okay, this is 50 bucks. Like, I was unaware of how much you were ordering. I was only told about this camera. Well, okay. And then <laughs> last but not least, yeah, I did it. I was not aware of that you were buying a new drone. Again, this is not a super fancy drone. This is a, well, I got this, the package that comes with two batteries, so this was $1,000, but like, I got this specifically because it has a bunch of new features and stuff. It's got a little bit of auto tracking. It can follow you and it's a lot, it's a fair bit smaller. And again, like with all these things, I'm just trying to find stuff that I can actually use that doesn't take like 10 minutes to set up and all this extra stuff. So this is extremely exciting. Have I gotten a new drone in like three and a half years? I just keep repairing broken ones. But it's, it's rad and it's so freaking small. Whoa. Here's what I currently have, but smaller. Boom, phone's in there, in the case and everything. Seems like that's just gonna be way faster. When I like try to put up the drone when we go for a ride, Paula and Heather and whoever else happens to be around is just like, you know, like we have to really have to wait for that. And I'm just trying to avoid that at all costs. That's badass. That's it for mail time. That's it for mail time. Let's go do some exercising. Okay, we are here in um, Sisters, Oregon for Father's Day. We're gonna ride the historic Kenzie River Trail with Team Zoo. <laughs> All right. You're the, you're the ride leader, which way do we go? Go that way. At least pick the route. For the warm up loop. The warm -up. Oh, nice. Mic drop, I ain't gotta preach I just do what comes natural Five star, everything I see Live lives, no apology Alright, I am gonna be filming at least this entire ride sequence on the new stuff that I got. So this is the new Sony camera. I've got this cute little fuzzy microphone thing on top that hopefully it makes it so you can hear me right now. And then, got the drone in the backpack. <laughs> Thank 
concludes our warm-up loop. We're back in Sisters, and I think we're getting ready to start the climb here. All day running up the clock, fast pace, never gonna stop. Big change, see you at the top. I just do what comes natural. Okay, so what are the details on the climb? Uh, I don't remember it being all that steep. It's a little bit of altitude for me, which is anything above zero is altitude. Uh -huh. <laughs> how, many, how far is it, the whole thing? I'm thinking it's something like 16 miles or something like that. It's all, uh, I think it's averaging 4 or 5%. I could be wrong on that. But What's the KOM? <laughs> and are you going for it? Not going for the KOM. I did ride it four or five years ago, and I don't even know what the time was, but... Can you go better than that? I don't know, I'm four or five years older now, so it'd be nice. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she's right there. She just was behind for a minute. Uphill into a headwind sure, for Father's Day. Sure, cyclists are saying that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen, but... Uh, <laughs> well, they don't follow us. Everybody else gets it. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Right up and no time constraints today, so just take as long as I want to to climb it. Just yeah. the same, you always want to hurry, right? Okay. Oh, it's been about an hour instead of in change. We rode all the way back down to the bottom and uh, we actually had a workout to do. Did uh, six by eight minutes at 70.3 pace. I don't really have a power meter on this bike, but that was rough. Unfortunately, so far I haven't gotten a chance to fly the drone because it's like freaking windy up here but maybe we'll get a chance here in a second.
man. Dude, I just, I don't know how I feel about the gravel tires at high speed with like 30 PSI. all our friends. We sort of parked in the wrong place so we're gonna have to go downstream first and then back which is a bit dangerous. We have to walk back. Let's see.